Big Dash knows what? First off, I'm, a, I'm so happy that minicamp started today. Obviously, two days ago, we get the news from Saquon Barkley telling everybody what we already knew, that he was upset with how the situation with his contract is going. Uh, fast forward that to today, of course, uh, Brian Dable's at the podium. And a lot of the questions or the majority of the questions that he was asked were about Saquon Barkley. And just like everybody who has since knew he was not going to answer any questions about Saquon Barkley. Now, I do understand that for the beat writers, it's their job to ask these questions. But for the fans, for the people that are watching these pressers, please understand that they're not going to get any real answers from Brian Dable. It doesn't matter who you are, Jordan Renan, Pat Leonard. He is going to give you the same answer when it comes to Saquon Barkley right now because Saquon Barkley does not have a contract and he is not at the facility. Now, some of the other questions they asked him is, you know, because Saquon Barkley is not at practice, do you have to make some adjustments to your scheme and things like that? And he pretty much said no. You know, he can only focus on the guys that are here and implementing the system so the guys that are here can do their jobs and um, follow the right assignments. Again, what do you expect Brian Dable to say regarding the Saquon Barkley situation? You're not going to get any kind of official word from the New York Giants about this contract situation with Saquon Barkley. So let's go ahead and move it along. So outside of those type of questions, he was also uh, asking what the main focal point was going to be for the minicamp. And he just said that this the minicamp, because it's only two days, uh, today and tomorrow, uh, the minicamp is going to be a build off of what they were doing in OTAs. And um, they just want to, over the next two days, you know, keep on pushing the fundamentals, keep on pushing the scheme and assignments so that when they come back for full on training camp, they don't have to worry about a lot of the the uh the assignment and the install things they can work on just getting better running this offense and doing those type of things now other than that he did i uh, have some questions about daniel jones and he always says the same thing pretty much for daniel jones how much of a hard worker he is that he's steadily improving uh one thing that um i did like uh that he gave us was saying that relationship between daniel jones and kafka is good uh they do have some give and take they do give a little bit of push and pull on what they like and what their expectations are on the, on Daniel Jones' side, what he likes most. Um, uh, and then with Kafka pushing him to get out of his comfort zone and pretty much, you know, let's go ahead and open this book up, Daniel Jones. Let's get on the same page and let's take this next step. So that was a good little jewel, a little nugget that uh, Brian Dable, you know, gave us. Um, he also commented on Darren Waller, just saying how smart Darren Waller was how he's picking up the offense, and then also talking about the skill set. Um, you have a guy that's very, very talented, and as long as he can adapt into this scheme, he expects him to be very, very successful. Another thing I will say, and I probably should have opened it up with this, Bill Parcells was in the building, on the field. Yes, legendary New York Giants, legendary NFL coach, Bill Parcells was in the building today. He talked to the players. Um, as a group, we also talked to the players, some players one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Carl Banks was also in the building today. So I always love when some of the New York Giants legends show up to these practices and are able able to talk with some of these current players, you know, give them some feedback, give them some pointers, and tell them how to deal with certain things. Because again, it's all about being successful. And we think about Bill Parcells, that is a successful guy everywhere that he went. Also at the podium today was Brandon um, Brandon Brown. He was asking or fielding questions about the rookies. And one of the things he said about this rookie class is that the maturity of the class. A lot of these guys are smart, tough, and dependable. Again, that is the New York Giants motto. And um, I agree with that. When you think about some of the guys that we picked up, talent-wise, very talented, um, very uh, football savvy, and, and good health. Good health. A lot of these guys got a got a lot of snaps during their college career and um hopefully them being healthy them having all of these all of these snaps helps jumpstart their con uh, contribution to the new york giants and uh you know this a uh, rookie season for these guys okay so now they did have some other guys on the podium as well daniel jones was at the podium he talked a little bit about P parcells and what parcells told him um uh, he did um, field a question about Saquon Barkley. He just said he's shown his full support for Saquon Barkley, uh, both personal and as a teammate. 
again what do you expect this man to say um and that he basically just says he supports saquon barkley um sterling shepherd was at the podium too um and they asked him about his health he said he's preparing um to be there at the start of the season he said he won't rush anything he is a little bit ahead of schedule and this is sterling shepherd he heals like wolverine you know what i mean he just needs to be as sturdy as wolverine but um and he answered a lot of questions regarding dex and, and um daniel jones after they received their money did you see any kind of changes you know in their uh personalities and he said no daniel jones is still the same hard worker that he was prior to that um he did have a joke about dexter lawrence having a little bit more swag with the money that he got um now speaking of dexter lawrence dexter lawrence was also you know at the podium um they asked him a couple of questions as well um one of the things he did say um when they asked him about leonard williams he said that him and leonard williams are one of the top tandems in the league i like the confidence that he showed he's saying you know after four years of uh, playing with each other these guys are pretty much telekinetic um type of relationship where they pretty much don't even have to communicate verbally to each other to understand what the other guy is thinking and um i just love to hear things like that um he also um spoke about daniel jones he said uh because he was asked the same question um that sterling shepherd was asked he said you know did you notice any kind of swag or any kind of difference with daniel jones and he said no daniel jones still works the way that he works you know a hard worker but he said that he seems to be and this is talking about daniel jones dexter lawrence said that daniel jones seems to be a lot more vocal already you know after this contract signing so one of the things that new york giants fans um wanted to see is that can daniel jones be a leader of men and um you see that already and this is just a small little part or sample size you already have a guy like dexter lawrence saying that he's noticing that daniel jones is a little bit more vocal you know when it comes to these practices this time around so that's going to wrap up a lot of the uh, interviews or the pressures that they had today. Let's start and get into some of these practices. So some of the highlights of the practices, if I'm going to say one person's name, it's going to be Bobby McCain. And I'm both excited and also a little bit sad because I've been pushing the Bobby McCain agenda for a little bit. And just last week, I was saying that, you know what, with Nick McLeod uh, getting some free, getting some safety snaps, you know it's pretty much up for grabs because i had bobby mccain penciled in and what happens today is bobby mccain gets two interceptions and one he took to the house and um i'm sitting back like you know what i shouldn't have adjusted my thoughts that soon but again you see what happens in otas i'm seeing nick mcleod's name being mentioned running with the ones at safety and you have to think about that and jerome henderson also spoke today and it's, it's not just that nick mcleod was getting some safety um reps um he made it known that nick mcleod has actually moved to the safety spot so he's no longer a cornerback right now today he is actually listed as a safety now i don't know if giants.com knows that but that is something that jerome henderson said that him and wink decided that they were going to move nick mcleod to safety and um again all of this information is on giants.com they also posted a lot of the uh, pressers on uh, YouTube. So all of this information is out there. You can find it for yourself and validate that information. Now, Daniel Jones had a pretty good day today. He found um, he found Hodgins, Paris Campbell, Jamison Crowder, and Slayton all for touchdowns today. Um, they never say who threw the interceptions, but I'm, I'm assuming Bobby McCain probably got an interception off of daniel jones and if it's not daniel jones it was probably off of tyrod taylor again this is not confirmed because we do know that nick mcleod was running with the ones so that means bobby mccain most likely was running with the twos or he could have had some reps at one two so it's not clear on who he picked off but we already know that bobby mccain had two interceptions and one of those he took back to the house um tyrod taylor also had a pretty strong day today he had touchdowns thrown to um colin johnson David Seals and also Jeff Smith. And um pretty much today was solid on both sides. Again, we had a mixture of seven on seven and walkthroughs. They did work a lot of the red zone today again. Um, but it, you, you just like to hear the news that's going on. Again, we only have one more, one more day of mini camp, and that's going to be tomorrow. And then we have a long hiatus into training camp. 
begins and with that said please let me know in the comments down below what type of information you want to know while we're on this break for the new york giants positional breakdowns um concepts um just any q and a's that you might have go ahead and put that in the comments down below and i will gladly either answer you know a lot of those questions or turn some of those questions into videos during this break that we have of a long long month but I want to thank you guys for vibing with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And from one Giants fan to another, this is Big Dash Knows, Big Blue Nation. Let's go.